So fire up Google Images and type in natural eyebrows or the fake ones, I don't care. Just find a good one with decent lighting because we're going to use it as a reference. I for example picked this one up, but you can use whatever. Don't just copy paste me, find your own. It's a good practice to see if you can pull it off or what. And yeah, let's get into it. So we got few ways to do it. You can use your base model for the hair, but since I have a pretty low poly mesh, I'm going to separate the eyebrow area and start from there. You will see how easy it is later on. Go to edit mode. In the face select mode, select the faces and the eyebrow area. It doesn't have to be accurate, so don't sweat over it. Shift D to duplicate, right click to get it back to its position, then press P and selection to separate it. If you think it's too low or high up, you can reposition it in edit mode or sculpt mode. Go to weight paint mode, but before you start, make sure you apply any subdivision modifier you got there. Now start painting the parts where you want the eyebrow to be in. Look at the shape of your eyebrow and the reference and try to replicate that here. Go to object data properties and name the vertex group eyebrows. Go to particles properties and click on plus then put it on hair. Change the number to a reasonable amount. Lower the length number and in the vertex group section put the vertex group that we made on density. If you think it needs a change you can go back to weight paint mode and fix it anytime you want. Holding control tab go to particle edit mode while selecting the comb start grooming the eyebrows. Now it's a good time to look carefully at your reference and guide the hair to the direction of the hair in the picture. Then clean up the top by pushing the hairs down a bit. You might have some empty spot here and there. You can fill it out by selecting the add tool but before adding make sure the count number is on 1 and add a couple of these hair strands in those parts. Go to point select mode at the top. Now hover your mouse on each hair strand and press L to select each of them one by one. Now pick up the comb tool again and groom it to the top. Okay very important step. Go to render properties in the hair section put it on a strip and increase the sub dev. Back to particle properties in the chill section put it on interpolated inter interpolated whatever that is lower the display amount to your desire increase the clump and mess around with the shape and in the roughness play with the setting till you get the shape that you want just take your time and change these options till it looks all right to you in the viewport display turn off the emitter so we can only see our eyebrow and not the plane under it now in the hair shape I personally decrease the diameter roots and increase the tip for a smoother transition but it also depends on how thick you want yours to be I mean the eyebrows I guess. If you think it's too puffy go to bottom view and push the hairs down a bit. Give it a simple material so we can see our eyebrows in Eevee. In the render mode you can see better if it needs to be thicker or thinner. So go back to the settings and play with it. Now the perks of this method is you can deform the plane to whatever shape you want and the hair will follow it. So it's really easy to change the eyebrow shape at any point which is great. I wanted more hair on the eyebrow so I increased the display amount but you do yours. Now for more realism I'm gonna add this stretched hair in a separate part particle layer. Go to viewport display and turn on the emitter so we can see our plane again. Click on plus, put zero on the number and decrease the length to your liking. Back in particle edit, pick up the add tool and add few hair strands outside of the eyebrow. Then with the comb tool again, guide it according to your reference. This time in the chill learn section, put it on simple. Lower the radius, do the hair shape just like the previous one, increase the clump and mess around the shape again. If you think it needs more hair, well just add some. Select them by pressing L, then groom. Also you can shrink or grow the hair by picking the length tool and switch between grow or shrink modes. Clean up the eyebrows. When you're certain that it looks good, shift D to duplicate, go to object, mirror and click on X. Now we got both eyebrows. Before getting renders, go to particle properties. In the render section, turn off show emitter. Also in the chill learn section, render amount should be same as the display amount. So the render would be same as the viewport. And make sure you do that for both of our particle systems. Yeah. That is it. I'm gonna cover the eyelashes in the next video so be sure to check that one out. See ya!